Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. Today we have two genetic disorders that is Down syndrome and Gorlin Gott syndrome. Down syndrome is uh, also known as trisomy 21 and Gorlin Gott syndrome it is a autosomal dominant um, syndrome which is having a triad of classic symptoms. Now let's see what are these two disorders. So Down syndrome, it is a chromosomal abnormality where the problem lies with the chromosome number 21. So it is known as trisomy 21. An extra chromosome is present on 21. So it is clinically uh, presented as flattened face, there will be small head, short neck, protruding tongue and upward palpebral fissure with small ear and there will be poor muscle tone and broad and short hands, short fingers and excessive flexibility. There are lots of clinical presentation but I have mentioned a uh, very few. So the problem with the chromosome number 21 with flattened face, small head, short neck, protruding tongue, upward palpebral fissure, small ear, poor muscle tone, broad and short hands, short fingers and excessive flexibility. So what are the uh, risk factors? The most common risk factor, one is anyway it is a genetical involvement. So there is genetic uh, problems and the familial tendency might be there. And another one is uh, advanced maternal age. As the age of a mother increases, the chances of Down syndrome also increases. And this Down syndrome Kids or persons will be having problems with heart and gastrointestinal defect will be there. There will be uh, immune disorders. They might facing sleep apnea, obesity and spinal problems. So these are kind of uh, multi-system uh, involvement. And uh, on a treatment side, there is no much treatment only just to improve the quality of life and uh, provide a good social support. But uh, when we think about the dental aspect, uh, since the patient is having high production of saliva, the chances of caries is very less, but uh, the patient uh, or the person might not be able to uh, do a proper oral hygiene measures. So in turn the gingivitis and periodontal problems will be very high and there will be increased bruxism and hypertonic tongue and mouth breathing will be there. That will, persons will be with narrow palate and class 3 uh, prognathic mm, profile. So Down syndrome is a multi-system uh, involvement due to the trisomy 21. So now let's move on to the gorlin gott syndrome. gorlin gott syndrome it's also known as nevoid basal cell carcinoma syndrome. As the name suggests it was uh, explained by two people that is gorlin and Gotts. It is also a genetical problem that is autosomal dominant genetical disorders and the uh, involved gene is PTCH1 gene. So that is a gene involved in this particular syndrome. And it is expressed as a classical triad that is multiple basal cellular epithelioma that is a, a malignant condition and the keratocyst there will be many keratocyst oral keratocyst and bifid ribs. So this is a classical triad symptoms of gorlin gott syndrome. Basal cell carcinoma, OKCs and bifid ribs. So there are many other problems, other clinical problems involved with this gorlin gott syndrome and the first one is the calcification of fox cerebri, the palmar 
plantar epidermal pits the spine rib abnormalities macrocephaly frontal bossing and ocular malformation so this will be most commonly diagnosed by major criteria and minor criteria major criteria the presence of more than two basal cell carcinoma under uh, 20 years and all cases that is odontogenic keratosis presence and palmar pits it is uh, if more than three and also the bifid trips these are the major criteria whereas the minor criteria is microcephaly sorry the macrocephaly uh, then the hypertelorism and frontal bossing so these are the minor criteria to diagnose the gorlin god syndrome or just known as the god syndrome so treatment is basically the enucleation of all these cysts or cases and uh, genetic counseling also can be done as a preventive measure so these are two uh, genetic disorders that is down syndrome and gorlin god syndrome these are commonly asked question uh, so you can write all the clinical features uh, the cause and uh, some of the risk factors and the diagnosis criteria and related to the dental problem uh, in case of down syndrome i'll come up with new syndromes and then just turn more thank you